The pandemic has greatly impacted all areas of our lives and has disrupted the world trade and movement. Narrowing it down to a personal scale, all of our social lives has been greatly affected as well. What seems to be a harmless act in the past, like hanging out with friends and even going to work at an office, is adopting to a great shift online. Being stuck at home during the pandemic, with almost everything closed besides grocery shops and hospitals being open, people have been spending more of their time online. Let's look at the graphs derived from similar web and Apptopia. This graph has revealed that our behaviors have shifted as the pandemic pushes us to our devices for work, entertainment, and connectivity at the same time. Most of the people are entertaining themselves through Netflix and YouTube while using Facebook to connect with one another at the same time gathering global news. It's also interesting to note that while usage on these apps are increasing, the platform where they are being used is changing with the website interface increasing gradually while phone application interface gradually slowing down due to the fact that we're constantly accessible to our computers and laptops. Speaking of computers, all of us has become reliant on services that allows us to work and learn from home, like Zoom, Google Classrooms, and Microsoft Teams, to name a few. Next up, we will divert our attention into looking at information spread through online and social media. People are prone to believing everything they've read and heard from social media, especially in uncertain times like these where people are actively seeking the truth. From false information like Trump's stirring controversy on ingesting Dettol and Lysol to treat coronavirus, to WhatsApp circulations like drinking garlic water to cure coronavirus, and even dumb things like religious extremists claiming they can capture the coronavirus and keeping it in a bottle. Not forgetting, there are tons of conspiracy theories circulating around, like 5G towers causing coronavirus and things. Remember QAnon? Along with QAnon's conspiracy movement, it has created public health threats and racism. QAnon has allegedly promoted some miracle mineral supplement, which has been issued warnings by the US FND administrations as being toxic, which claims that it prevents COVID-19. There are a lot more theories like these, like COVID-19 being a bionic weapon produced by China to stop Trump's election by destroying the economy, and movements like hashtag film your hospital, where people across the country are filming quiet hospitals to prove that the pandemic is a hoax. False and misleading information like QAnon and WhatsApp circulations has caused two effects on people, those who fear for their lives and hoards everything from the grocery store, or those who want to reopen the world again. With more time spent online, the bombardment of news is inevitable. Always remember guys, to fact check and only read news from your local official news sites. Or you can simply hop onto Google News for all coronavirus updates. Don't believe your family group chats that much. Thank you for watching!